it took me entire five minutes to film the um, caption picture for this video so it better do good it better do good but let's get started quickly with the video because the sun is going down and i'm not really in a mood to set up big ring light i am filming today my monthly favorites video so i haven't done really proper intro my name is sopo and welcome back to my channel um yeah i'm having a few items here from homeware as well as skin and skincare and makeup as well as my favorite handbag for the month so yeah let's talk about them so very first product which i have to show you is this laura mercier um, lip gloss which is in a travel size i just got this one with uh together with my order of some other makeup goodies from douglas i never really knew that she does such a good good um lip product this one is in um, color pink pop um, I really love the pink shaded lip products because I think they bring so much more liveliness on my face being pale and having pink undertone actually pink lipsticks go best with my skin color I think I've tried a lot of peach and uh, like some orangey undertone or brown toned I still wear like nude color lipsticks but being very very pale I think that it really washes me off unless I'm wearing uh, the fake tan so throughout the spring period especially i always tend to wear something glossy something which makes my lips pop a bit more i have really tiny lips so anything which makes it look bigger is welcome <laughs> in my case um so yeah this one is in travel size and it's almost ended i'm gonna be definitely purchasing new one in full size so this one is definitely a favorite of last two months so to stay with the same brand, another item which I have over here is this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Let's see if this one is going to focus on the product. I think it does, right? Um, it has SPF 20 in it, which is nothing in my case. I always apply a good portion of like 50 plus moisturizer um, sunscreen and then apply this one. Um, why I have been loving this is especially due to like its color it has a slightly darker tone than my usual stick foundation which i'm wearing in winter time and as i'm starting to fake tan in springtime this one is my go-to um like liquid uh, foundation sort of like product it's not really a foundation it's moist tinted moisturizer as the name suggests it's very very sheer which brings to the second point in springtime when everything blooms when there is so much sunlight you don't really want to look like cakey and having so much product on your face this one works wonders, especially if you have good skin days and you don't want to like hide many spots on your face. Um, I think um, you just glide on and just highlight some cheekbones, lips, do the brows um, and eyelashes and then you're good to go. Um, one downside, even though I'm talking about the favorites, one downside or one thing which you have to be cautious about is that if you're planning to take pictures or being filmed, which probably most of the people don't really do, um, this one definitely needs some setting because it's an illuminated illumina illuminating gosh it's an illuminating tinted moisturizer so it just really um, makes you look re reflecting like mirror like um so which is a bit too much especially when taken up on the camera so um with a good uh, setting powder under eye area as well as on the t-zone i think it would still work the third item which i have been loving past month or so is uh, this um, small size charcoal mask by Origins. I got three testers. Um, one was about like clay mask uh, for resurfacing, this charcoal mask to clear the pores, and the third one was avocado based moisturizing mask, which you could leave overnight. The other two are very good. Uh, my least favorite is the avocado one, the moisturizing one, um, and then the resurfacing one just feel like that it clears all my face very very well um, from dead skin cells, but in the period when I'm having a lot of spots on my face I feel that this one does wonders, so I apply this once in a week or once in two weeks time, past months I've had quite a bit of spots, I don't really know exactly what caused it, but um, I have been applying this like regularly each week um, and I don't exactly know if it really contributed to cleaning up my pores and clearing my skin but I believe 
that it did <laughs> um, at least it's mental as well partly so um, yeah it applies good it dries in 10 minutes you just step on with a wet soaked um, cloth then and wash it off and you just feel very fresh and clean in, on, on your face so uh, yeah this one is something which I'm thinking out of the three that this is gonna be the one uh, which I will buy in full size if I go again back to origins I usually tend to always check new products even if I'm loving something I don't rebuy it this is like contradicting to what most people do I think uh, because when people love something they stick to it and I'm continuously changing my skincare which shouldn't be really good for my face um, because yeah that's what everyone says <laughs> that um, skin doesn't really like changing products but it's something a small pleasure of mine to try out new products yeah so let's see if I'm gonna purchase this or not one more makeup product which I want to mention here by is uh, this Clarins powder compact powder this one, I remember that I bought one year ago, I think when we were going on a holiday and I had a fake tan. None of my existing powders were matching with my skin color, so I went for this one in color Honey, which is too dark for me when I'm not fake tan. So um, after a year, it still looks pretty much intact because you cannot really end product just by using a few weeks. Um, I pulled it out, I took it out again this year and started to use it. Um, and I feel like that I'm loving it. It has really good coverage. You don't really notice that. It comes with this small cloth over here, as you can see. It's pretty dirty right now, but I use as well brush. Um, you apply it a little bit and it just really gives you this powdery, velvety, finish but pretty good coverage which is very surprising i'm talking about my spots on the face past few weeks um this one did wonders i didn't really use uh, much of the concealer as well um so yeah wanted to mention it as well i feel like that this video is all about my spots but another product is um the vitamin c brightening serum and everyone knows that after having sort of small breakout you always want to brighten that areas good point is not to forget to um, protect against the sun because that's what causes the blemishes to become like dark spots what are those called discolorations on your face so yeah that's another topic but um, this C brightening serum vitamin C brightening serum by Verst has been a savior for me. I've been religiously using it every single day, two or three drops all over my face as well as on um, my neckline before I apply the moisturizer. It just sinks in very quickly. What I know about the vitamin C um, serums is that they often are sticky. This one definitely is not. So it says that it's against um, dullness and aging skin as well. Um, I don't know much about that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one is very, very good and I could only recommend it. I got this from um, Cult Beauty Order. I think I haven't really seen this in Germany at Douglas. I'm going to check it out and leave in, the, leave in the description box. Basically, I'm going to leave everything where you could find those. Um, it also says that you can apply this not only at a.m. but p.m. time, um, after cleansing, but before moisturizing. Another item is for lazy people. I don't really know if I should be mentioning this on my channel, but I am sometimes very, very lazy to wash my hair. Um, in an ideal world, my hair gets oily and a bit greasy every other day, so I need to wash it every other day. But when I want to drop in the day or I'm in a rush or generally I feel like that it's not really good. It doesn't really do good for my hair if I wash it every other day. So I went out and bought for such cases a dry shampoo this is by Colab um, it smells like cherries can't really say it smells good it smells like artificial cherries but it's better than the other sorts at least the travel size of this um, I, I got the travel size of this one by my girlfriend when we were last year in uh, Barcelona before that I have never really tried uh, dry shampoo and ever since I've been really hooked up. It's not like that I'm using this like every single occasion, but when I feel like lazy, 
um, I just take this out and prolong my wash intervals, hair wash intervals, like with one day. So yeah, maybe this is the solution for you if you have the same situation. So another item is by Hermes. This is the Hermes Twilly box where I keep it. Um, and I wanted to mention this one because I've been really using this past two months because of the colors really. Look at it. It has every single color. Not very muted and light colors, but it has red, yellow, lila, blue, um, green somewhere as well. So it really goes well with anything really, whatever you wear. So I use this as a decoration piece, sometimes hooked on my um, like belt area, sometimes on my hair just like that, sometimes wrapped on the handle area for my handbags, just put it up on here. Um, don't know really, it, it just decorates everything, just pops your outfit, you can put it up on your neck, like a little scarf, obviously that's what it is there for, and I feel that is very dainty, small detail, decorative thing, which just makes every outfit pop um, and I, I have caught so many glances of people looking at me when I was wearing this one so I've been absolutely loving it and probably will be purchasing a few more in the future because this one is inexpensive I think it costed like 180 euro or something like that for Hermes I don't want to exaggerate obviously that's not um, little money uh, for what it is like small band um, of silk but for Hermes it is pretty cheap so yeah next fashion item which i already showed is my um dior saddlebag in mini size it is in this muted pink color um, and i also have the guitar strap but i've been using this just like that past few weeks especially i was having holidays and i didn't really have to carry much um, this one is not so convenient to take to work because it doesn't even fit my card holder key holder and small Bastia coin purse together. It's that small, they just fits lipstick and one more product. So it's just really a decorative bag. Um, has um, sweater finish inside and magnetic closing uh, bits in front. Let me check out what holds it back. So yeah, it is very pretty. It looks gorgeous with my dress as well, in my opinion. So yeah, this one has been with me out and about and yeah, wouldn't change it for anything, even though it is tiny and doesn't really fit anything. Not functional, but pretty. So I hope it won't be a surprise to anyone that my next favorite item is my Jo Malone candle. This is with wood sage and sea salt scent. It is absolutely divine. I swear this is the best basic notes which you want to have in your home, indoor environment. It smells like wood and like beach. I don't even know how to describe that. It smells like seaside, like salty sea, how it tastes or smells, if it has any smell. So it has very, very natural scents. And I love it so much that I had as well tester of the same scent in perfumes. And I was spraying it on my bed linen. It layers as well beautifully with other Jo Malone perfumes, if you want to try that out. Um, anywho, I can really rave about this um, scent very, very long um, and can recommend it to, it to anyone. Um, I have lit it up just two or three hours long just to burn the upper layer of wax um, ever, since it has been, ever since it has been just standing around because it was so hot. I know that this doesn't add up to the room temperature, but um, somehow lighting up the candle, putting up the blanket and drinking hot cocoa is like more... On a, on a cozy days when I feel like doing all those and not in very hot summery um, days when you just feel like burning yourself and not really fitting into your own skin. So this hasn't been favorite because I've used it most but because I genuinely have been loving the smell of it and cannot wait for chilly rainy days for me to lift this up, cozy up somewhere on the couch, watch movie and cuddle. Perfect for that. My another favorite item is the coffee table book, which I bought 
few weeks ago and I am in love with this one. There is no other word that describes the relationship with this book other than love because I'm not getting over it. I'm scrolling through the pages every single evening. Just is an endless um, source of inspiration for me, even though it has definite um, <laughs> number of pages and it's not really unlimited. I've been obsessed with the author as well. Her name is Athena Calderone. Don't know if I pronounced that correct. Check her out on Instagram if you have. Um, she's called Ice Moon, I think. Um, she has absolutely beautiful um, space at home, like interior, which she designed herself. Um, she has like two homes um, and basically there is every piece which I would want to have in my own home as well. Yeah. Also, she posts very beautiful food posts, which I'm taking inspiration of and have been trying out a few recipes. Um, but back to the my monthly favorite. This book is by her. It is um, full of different home um, interior pictures with small tips how to decorate the space from different homes. So it's not only her house, but different like contributors which show their space and give tips how to decorate those. Um, yeah, anyhow, it is absolutely divine. I'm going to show you a few pictures which I find very, very inspirational. Why I also got this book is that if you have been watching my vlogs, if you have not, this is a good chance to check out my other content as well. Um, I have mentioned in many of the vlogs that we are thinking, hoping, crossing fingers for my, ourselves um, to invest in a private property. So it won't be another stay on station for a few years, but something where we, some place uh, where we're gonna stay for longer time together um, as a family, um, hopefully in the future. So um, yeah, I just wanted to invest in it a bit more than I did in our um, rental places. Um, so yeah, I just decided to hoard up on different um, coffee table books, interior design books, to just take up an inspiration. Obviously, the many things which I can't pay um, <laughs> because they are like premium furniture pieces and well, designer pieces are obviously always expensive, but they give a good inspiration and good ideas for creating your own space. For example, look at this bathroom, isn't it? Oh, just absolutely beautiful. Double doors standalone um, bathtub also she has kitchen uh, with marble countertop which everyone recommends against so like I could not find a single kitchen studio in Germany which recommends using marble as a countertop but she and all the other um, interior design books have been the cause that I am persisting against Falco's reasonable arguments and trying to still convince him that we need, um, what is it called, marble countertops. It is absolutely beautiful book. I just can't show you now everything, but just open up any random page and look at it. Oops, look at this one. So I think I will never get bored of looking through this book or, oh my gosh, bringing in the nature indoors. This is sort of a sideboard and then there is like a vase with big branches of some plant. I don't even know if such thing would work at us because we have cats and obviously everything will be knocked down. but. This book has been my definite, definite, definite favorite of past month. Another book which I have over here is as well another uh, home decor book. I just got this few days ago, but wanted to include this because as soon as it arrived and I started to look through it, I was more and more convinced that this book is very well structured, very well thought and gives very, very good advices as well. I just gonna read you what the intro says. Um, the Kinfolk Home, this is like um, how the book is called. 
The author is Nathan Williams um, and the Kinfolk team um, present 35 residences across five continents that embody the value of slow living. That's the concept which they try to convey throughout this book. The view of slow living isn't about luxury or laziness, nor it is about forgoing our most beloved belongings. It's about identifying what and whom we simply can't live without. How beautiful is that? Anywho, um, this one, this book, what makes it special is that it's not really listing or showing any super expensive pieces. Maybe they are, maybe they are not. At least I have not seen them anywhere, like identified as a luxury or premium uh, furniture. It's more about like how different spaces create um, home for different cultures, for different people. It also um, retells the story. So it's not just pretty pictures. It also retells a story um, of the ones who live at this home and what makes this space irreplaceable for them. So there is like endless stories of different cultures and lives all over the book. Um, yeah, and I'm super excited to explore that further. I'm done with the physical items around me, but I have two more favorites which I wanted to mention. I've been loving the online app, which is called Saba. It's like a Georgian electronic book um, library. That's what it's called where books are stored, yes. <laughs> um, so online electronic library, uh, which I was not aware of. My Georgian friend recommended it to me when I asked her about one of the books. Um, I always had to wait for getting Georgian books from my parents or from my brother or from someone who would just travel to Germany or somewhere in Europe. Um, and I find it I take so much pleasure in reading on my native language. I read it so much quicker. I also don't have to do much in Georgian throughout the day. The only thing which I do is talking to my parents. So obviously, uh, past few weeks, um, I've been genuinely loving to read different books. I did a subscription and have read three books already past week when I had holiday. Had so much time on hand and we didn't really go to any, we didn't really go anywhere so it was perfect time to use and read not so big but still three books which I'm definitely gonna be um, following up on I have like full year subscription right now and yeah, I can't wait to get to read more books through it so lastly I wanted to mention the TV series which I've been loving this month um, I am constantly searching for something new, cool to watch as well. So I hope that it will be as well something which gives inspiration to you to check out. Um, the series which I'm talking about is called A Little Fires Everywhere. This one has been recommended on TV and uh, has been advertised through Amazon Prime, like as a free option to watch. Um, it features Reed with a spoon together with Kerry Washington and all the crew, like rest of the crew of young actors and actresses are are so talented, are doing such an amazing job throughout the, this mini series. It's like a one season series. Um, so there is as well like book, which was written in 2017, which is like base for this series as far as I know. Um, so either way, if you read a book or watch the series, I have not really read the book, so I can't tell like comparison which I prefer more um, but um, it has been eye-opening in so many cases it just portrays the the life of perfectionist white mom with the kids and the struggle she goes through together with the um, black woman and her her daughter which come to such a neighborhood where they are sort of welcome but not really welcome it was very well timed that this series sort of emerged um, when this discussion about BML topics um, was globally very very relevant. Even I found myself, when I think that I'm not racist at all, um, that I found it very difficult to understand some situations uh, where Kerry Washington playing so well. It took me really quite some looking into myself and reflecting on things to understand why it felt the way it felt for her. So it was very eye-opening and interesting to watch. 
very educational, I would say. Um, well played, well written, well executed. So highly recommend it if you have time and are searching for a new um, series to watch. That is the best thing to do at the moment. And it's also free um, on Amazon Prime at the moment, I think, so far. Now, I'll, that is it for my... Gosh, excuse me, guys, that is dreadful. He starts to scratch the doors. So I need to wrap this up, this video. Thank you for the attention. Thank you for staying on board until this long. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Stay on board by like ringing the bell and checking out the rest of my content if you want to. Um, I'm gonna say bye right now and go to feed the kitties because he is definitely hungry. Goodbye.